know, the legislative session began this week. It began on February 1st. So it's been going for a whopping five days. And I'm sure you don't know anyone who's there. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the amazing politicians that are there, like State Senator Melanie Scheibel, who happens to be the chair of one of the most prestigious committees in the entire legislature, the Judicial Committee. And today, in their or earlier this week, in their earlier Zoom conference meeting, she decided to welcome everyone who was watching and wanted to participate, whether that be lobbyists or citizens, by tuning in on YouTube by doing her best Dr. Seuss impression. Take a listen. Normally, we have the pleasure of seeing all of your faces, but today, you guys get to stay in your pajamas and log on from wherever you might be um, uh, with a cat, with a bat, on a town, and a clown, wherever you might be. And I loved how the other senators were like, what is this B saying? Because that's what we were all saying. Freaking Dr. Seuss is chairing the Judicial Committee, and it's insane. But that wasn't even the dumbest part. She also explained to everyone that they can communicate by, you know, calling in, emailing, or using a fax. We also have a fax number. Um, and if any of you are going to send us a fax, please let me know because I would like to see a fax machine in action. Um, and I think that'd be a really fun piece of history. Come on, are you 12? Cause yeah, my eight year old daughter doesn't know what a fax machine is, but I asked Spencer and he's in his twenties and he knows what one is. That'd be a really neat piece of history. How is this woman a Senator? And how is she the chair of the judicial committee? <gasps> oh, guess what? It gets worse. This genius. <laughs> she has some new rules for the judicial committee that will only meet via Zoom. Let's take a listen to her first rule. Stated that we, if we continue to utilize single use plastics at our current rate, the ocean will contain more plastic than fish by 2050. Therefore, single use plastics are hereby banned from the Senate Judiciary Committee. And anyone who brings this scourge into the committee, whether in person or on camera, will be subject to public reprimand. I do not want to see any plastic water bottles, any plastic bags, any other single-use plastic items on your screen or with your person during these meetings. And if you do it, you'll get a warning like this one, which is very serious. <gasps> oh my God. I mean, she might give me a warning, which is very serious. If I have a water bottle or a straw. Ah, straws are the devil. They're ruining the earth. <laughs> She's a state senator. It gets worse. Let's listen to her. And let me apologize off the bat. We are still learning the technology. I am still figuring out how to keep documents and my screen open. Um, I believe I added a rule, Mr. Guinan. I'm not sure if it made it into the final version. Um, asking or requiring everybody to please stick with gender neutral terminology in this committee, whether you are a member, whether you are testifying. Um, and specifically, I want everybody to know, and I'll repeat this a couple of times because I know that not everybody here, uh, not everybody who's going to testify in front of the committee is here today. And as people come before the committee, I may be reminding them that you may simply call me chair um, or chair Scheibel, no need for miss or madam chair or anything like that. And um, I will expect you to, to do the same with each other and with all of our witnesses. And that's the Chair, only change uh, that Chair I- Scheibel, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, this is Pat Gunn. I just wanted to acknowledge- Okay, so she wants all gender neutral terms. I'm gonna show you a shot now of all the senators listening to her. Like even Nicole Canizaro's like, what's up with this chick? And then my favorite response was from Republican Senate Minority Leader Settlemeyer. Mr. Seibel? Yeah. I'm in no disrespect by referring to your gender. However, put me down as a no. I'm not going to have a rule in place that says that I have to do that every time. As a sign of respect, I sometimes call people by male or female, and it is never meant in a disrespectful tone 
or in a term. And in that respect, though, I just put me down as a no on the rule. Thank you. I loved her face. That's why I kept it in there. I loved her face in the end. She was like, what? What? He, he, he challenged me and he called me a girl? <gasps> I loved her face. And, and I, I, I love Settlemeyer now, like a little bit more. I always kind of liked him because he kind of reminded me of Dan Quayle. And I always kind of had a crush on him when I was a little kid. Dan Quayle, that is not Settlemeyer. Um, and I just love that he challenged her because, my God, how is this woman an elected leader of the Senate and heading up the Judicial Committee? Like, it's scary. So, State Senator Scheibel, in your first week, you are getting the official dumbass of the award week. You're a stage five dumbass. She really, really 